Howdy folks, I'm Mama B, and today we're making sauerkraut. In order to do this, you're going to need a head of cabbage. Now you pick out the prettiest one, fairly good size, and let's go. You're going to need to shred this cabbage. Now you can use a food processor like I did, or you can use a knife, but you're going to want it kind of tiny pieces. It's easier to eat that way, and it tastes better. Next, we'll pack this stuff into the jars. Now you're gonna wanna have clean jars, clean hands, keep everything as clean as possible, no extra bacteria getting into your sauerkraut. Pack this in just as tight as you can, but you're gonna need to leave some headspace at the top of the jar for the sauerkraut to swell, as well as for the fluids that you're putting in there. Now, for me, the salt has always been a beast, but recently I figured it out. It's a teaspoon and a half per quart. Fill your jar with warm water, again, leaving headspace for the fluids and cabbage to swell. Warm water will encourage a quick start for the probiotic bacteria to grow. Next, you need to have something to weigh the kraut down. Keep it under the fluid. So I use this spice lid. It's got holes so the fluids can go through, but it'll put, hold the cabbage under the liquid. I also have these really cool fermenting lids. I highly recommend you get them. But we're also going to try with just regular canning lids so that you can see the difference Look how pretty this looks. Jojo loves sauerkraut, so she's really excited about this. This will take about seven days for the probiotics to grow and turn this into really good kraut. This jar we're gonna use with just a regular canning lid and the ring. We are still gonna use a spice lid to push down the kraut, keep it under the water. Because canning lids don't breathe, you have to release the pressure every day. They call burping it. We are also going to hold it in a container that can hold liquid as it will swell and probably spill over. These jars are ready to go. Next, we're going to put both jars in a cupboard where it's dark. I like to keep it in a well-used cupboard so I see it every day and check on it. This is our crowd after about four days. You can see there's liquid in the bottom of that jar, so it's good that I put it in the container to catch it. Otherwise, all of that would be all over my counter. But so far, it's working good. It's looking good. Look at that. It's smelling like sauerkraut, and it's looking good. I'll leave it for a couple more days. This one also is looking good. It lets the air out through this burper lid and so I don't have to worry about it spilling over but look how good that's looking I'm gonna taste this juice it smells so good oh that's good you guys that's really good to go I'm gonna let this kraut sit for another couple of days on the shelf you can leave it on the shelf for about a week and then you'll want to refrigerate it after that this is tasting so good. It'll continue to develop the probiotics, build up the flavors, and you can start using it now after just four days. Just mm, so good, so fresh, and you could eat it with a spoon. Okay, that is our video for today. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Hope this helps. Have a fantastic day.